So Nick, how'd you get started with Muay Thai and why? Yeah. So before I talk about that, I'm going to talk about like what it is real quick. Cause I'm imagining cool. that some people don't know what Muay Thai is, mm -hmm. but um, if you guys think about like martial arts and like fighting, or like if you watch UFC, UFC specifically, um, Muay Thai is essentially that striking component of MMA where, you know, you throw punches, elbows, kicks and knees. And then there's like a, a little bit of clinching, which is like standing up grappling and where you throw knees and elbows from close range. Um, but yeah, it has nothing to do with grappling, but it's a lot of like cardio and like striking based sport. Now, well, how I got into it was actually pretty interesting because uh, I'm sure a lot of kids relate to this, but high school is a frustrating time and uh, <laughs> you get a little bit of uh, pent up anger and you want to take things out and stuff. So um, I first came in with the wrong mindset of like, I just want to hit things and like kind of get out a little bit of stress and, uh, you know, anxiety from day to day life. But as I quickly learned, I was like, there's multiple types of martial arts. There's boxing, karate, whatever. And karate is great for discipline. Boxing is great as a workout and also like general self-defense. And then Muay Thai came up and I was like, it immediately struck me as interesting because of the fact that, you know, um, it was extremely challenging, but there also was that karate style level of discipline where um, my, when I first started, the coach didn't let me, you know, just wail on people it was like they first check your ego at the door and then, you know, get your ass kicked a couple times. And then, you know, you realize that you know nothing. But um, when I started, I was like, okay, I just want to do this as a way of, you know, stress relief, stress, man stress management, I guess. But it quickly evolved into like my main form of cardio. Um, and it was like, great, because, you know, day-to-day -day life, you get to hit things. Like how often <laughs> can you say that? <laughs> Hell yeah. So when, when exactly did you start? So... I started freshman year technically, so four years ago, but I will say when I first started, it was like, cause I had those, I used it for anger and I realized I couldn't really use my anger there. I kind of gave up for a year cause I was like, this is pointless. <laughs> and then um, as sophomore year came around, I came back and I was like, no, I was, you know, a child back then. Finally became, I grew up a little bit, gained a little bit of maturity. And then I was like, at this point, I did want to do it for the self-defense aspect. Um, also how to learn and get that discipline of fighting. So sophomore year, I started uh, regularly doing it. So I believe that was once a week. And then after that, junior year, I started doing it about uh, two or three times a week. And then this past year, um, I went to a professional gym. And then I started training there, I believe, four to five times a week. And then during the school year, I did it four times a week. So. I remember when Nick first started at the professional gym. Uh, I was in California. He called me up. We were talking for a bit. He's like, gosh, I don't know if I can do it anymore. Like, they were working you the hell out right yeah well the thing is like when you train at UConn um I mean it's I guess it's true of like any small community it's like the better you get at that small community the more your ego rises and the more you feel like you're good and then you get to the professional level where every it's like I went in the gym this summer and I believe I was one of the only people that didn't fight like professionally like in the ring and you know I went in and I was like yeah I, I know a lot like I learned a lot at UConn and then immediately got my ass handed to me by, you know, <laughs> like I was by far the worst person in the gym and they trained me like the best people in the gym. So like if I gave up on a workout because I was quote feeling tired, they would just be like, no, that's not an excuse here. Like if you're going to show up to the class, you do the workout and like, you're going to push yourself and it's going to be hard because the, the, the sport is hard. It's not easy. So a lot of that, like it took a while to get used to and Akash was right. May have called him once or twice crying being like god damn it like i'm not sure if i could do this anymore this is stressful but yeah i mean it builds a certain level of resilience i guess yeah, i definitely love that yeah would, would you say that's like the primary discipline it teaches you just so resilience I, or what else does it teach you yeah so i think it's different for like a lot of people right um for some people it allows them to build their confidence in terms of like i could be good at a sport and not necessarily um you know, do it since like a young age. Cause a lot of these other sports like soccer, whatever people are playing since they were like four or five, you know? And then you feel like, oh, there's no point in even trying in this sport because of the fact that like, you know, I didn't start from a young age, but then being able to do this sport in the U S especially like people start when they're like 18, 19, 20, hell, even sometimes later, like 25 and they can still become competitive. So it's like, it gives them that confidence to uh, believe that they could actually do something amazing. Um, for me personally, it was the discipline of like, knowing that if I push myself in one aspect and I could do it, 
then I could transfer that to other skills in my life. Like, yeah, I might come into a job being the, the least intelligent person there, but if I push myself and I learn, I could grow past that. And obviously there's other like practical parts of that where it's like, you could use that as exercise. So like some people loved using it just as an exercise. So like my brother recently, he used to do a lot of bodybuilding and powerlifting. And now he's like, you know, it's getting boring. So now he's trying to switch over to this Muay Thai style because uh, it adds a level of uh, change every day in terms of like no workout is the same, you know, versus you go in the gym, you're going to hit your chest, your triceps, whatever. <laughs> and for the last one, I guess, like, I know this is a lot more common with girls, but like it gives them a really good feeling of self-defense. And like, that's a great thing about this sport is like uh, talking about someone that I know, Avni, she's a pretty like smaller person. And I could guarantee you now, like if she got into a dangerous situation, she could put up like a full ass grown, grown man on the ground, you know? <laughs> so it's like that confidence of like being able to stand up for what you believe in and like being, know that you could handle yourself in any situation.